before I start eating, I just want to say welcome to another weekly vlog. This week is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be juggling 10,000 things. I have a road trip tomorrow. I'm going to be in Atlanta from tomorrow until Thursday. I have school stuff to do. There's been burn trip deliveries this week. I have homework to do. I have work work to do for like content creation. It's just, it's going to be a busy, busy, busy week. <laughs> getting ready i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys about today's video sponsor scentbird thank you so much scentbird for sponsoring this video if you don't know what scentbird is scentbird is a subscription based fragrance company where it lets you try many different fragrances a month for actually a really good price the cool thing about it is that you are able to completely skip months if you're not really interested or you know you have something come up i really just love the flexibility of it because as somebody who's trying to find their signature scent as a young woman trying out different stuff before i dedicate my entire pockets to the full bottle really makes a difference if you don't know how much fragrances cost Bless it, you're living in bliss. That with every single body, you get a 30 day supply. So about a month, give or take, supply in this tiny little vial. So now that I'm kind of done doing my skincare, I'm gonna move into my makeup. But after I go ahead and tell you like what else I got this month, because Sunbird is a subscription based service, you might be a little curious on what I got because baby, it's never just one. So the first one I have is the Ash by Ashley Benson. This is the East 12th scent. And this one has more of a rose, black cedar, zesty orange type of smell. It's very easy going on the nose and it's not too strong. So a little vibrant. To a lot and this one has bergamot, pear, jasmine, vanilla bourbon, and dreamwood. So it's like really more on the fruity side, but it also with that dreamwood, it kind of bounces out to where it's not too much. Then the one I'm wearing today, which is the Danse Etole Grace de Monac. This has the Lily of the Valley, spicy, green and citrus, rose, and a quart of musk in here. So this one has more of like a lingering, very light and actually very easy to digest, but it's still very sweet and subtle. I also have the Dime des Les Bois. This this is a woody leather type of smell with hints vanilla sugar saffron and jasmine underneath it so it's like even though it still has like that heavier base it's still kind of evened out by everything else and all the other scents that are inside of this so if you're interested in trying scentbird make sure you use the link in my description or use code aliyah 55 so you get 55 percent off your first month at scentbird which makes your total out about eight dollars for the first month getting a few designer scent at that for such a good price like you literally absolutely cannot beat it but that being said thank you so much sunbird for sponsoring today's video hope you guys try it out let me know if you like it and once again that is code aliyah 55 or you can use the link in my description to get 55 percent off your first month at sunbird hello oh, i'm glad are you buying myself just calling um because we're running a little early wondering if we could be there in about 30 to 40 minutes yeah, that should be totally fine. So today is actually a big day in the Simone household because I'm actually getting a dining table delivery today. Yay! Y'all know that little space between like my couch and my kitchen. Yeah, that little gap is supposed to be like a dining area. And originally they were supposed to come between like one and three, but they said they're running a little early, like you just heard on the call. So they're gonna be here by like 12 because it's 11 35 right now and i think it's perfect because the sooner they come the sooner they can put it together and leave and i can get on with the rest of my day I'm to live tomorrow so if we have any last minute errands they're going to be ran today worked out for the better i didn't even say like a proper hello i just said welcome to the video hi how are you doing i hope you're doing amazing this is my first video in this bathroom i like the setup like i think it's fun i think it's cute my shower's a little dirty but we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna figure out a cleaning routine soon. It's never had glass on my shower before and it does in fact get dirty quickly because of the steam and then the water stains and da da da. I need a squeegee. I don't know why I didn't get one before I moved in here, but yeah. Something else I have to do today along with getting ready to go to Atlanta, I have to actually turn the keys in to my apartment today because my lease ends on the 8th and I am not going to be here. I'm going to be in Georgia. So I need to turn it in a little bit early because I'm not trying to get fined. Today's gonna be like a pack and prep but last minute edition i also need to get my dog ready to go to my mom's house because she always loves watching cashew when i go out of town i usually don't trust anybody else to do it if it wasn't her it'd be my older sister absolutely loves cashew and quite frankly everybody who comes in contact with cashew usually does i don't know what's been going on with my skin but over here i'm getting like little bumps like pimples i'm going in with the rare beauty blush this has literally become my favorite liquid blush like i'm sorry selena rare beauty is really that girl between rare beauty and fancy beauty like we really won like when i tell you most diverse and high quality makeup lines and brands like 
Oh my god, they're gonna be talking about Fenty and her beauty in makeup history book. And I'll be sure to make sure their story is told, okay? I don't know who's checking for me and my makeup expertise, but <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that y'all know about them. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of nose contour. The last time I ended a lease at an apartment, uh, or when my lease ended in my apartment, um, in Greensboro, if you've been here that long, fun fact, I'm not in that lease. I still paid that rent even though I moved out because I didn't want my credit to be bad. <laughs> when I did that, I just mailed them the keys because I feel like driving to Greensboro and everything was good but um might be a little different with this apartment something tells me i might be a little different with this apartment but i'm gonna go find my contacts i'm gonna put them in and then i'm gonna finish my makeup and i'll be right back perfect Whew. she's multi-talented so it hasn't even been a week since i moved into this house and i still have not finished unpacking all my stuff i'm kind of just slowly doing it but i think this week i want to finish it either it's going to be before we leave or after we come back like i don't really care which one it is it just needs to get done because i'm tired of looking for stuff and i can't find anything because all the clothes is still in the box I feel like that's the worst part about moving it's just packing is never like the issue is unpacking and low-key like i have so much space i kind of don't like don't know what to do or where to start when you go from having like no space at all to all the space in the world it makes like the world of a difference in how you want to look at organizing stuff and right now i have no idea what to put where like my kitchen nothing feels like it's in the right place like I don't know what it is i don't know if it's because i feel like this house is too pretty to be touching or like messing with or me being in here but like it's so much space i don't know what to do with it like the closet don't even get me started it's just a lot i have lunch to do for this trip and i kind of don't want to do it right now so instead of just sitting around doing nothing we're gonna go downstairs be productive a little bit because i do have a list of things i have to do for content creation i know y'all might be tired of like me doing content creation like work stuff on camera but maybe this is my life and this is my job and i prefer to take it very seriously and try to do things strategically so i can see what works and what doesn't because i'm not a gray type of girl okay i don't like gray area i like black and white and when it comes to social media and content creation i prefer black and white as well so that's exactly what i like to do with my stuff personally i'm just gonna go downstairs and start planning out my week to start because right now i have no plan and when i have no plan i get overwhelmed to the point where i don't know what I want to do and I don't know if that's just me being extra dramatic but when I don't have a set list on like what I'm supposed to be doing I don't know what to do to the point where I just don't do anything like I remember one time somebody asked me this was like years ago your videos are too structured loosen up I can't because then nothing's going to get done <laughs> like there's a reason that I genuinely like have to follow schedules and to-do lists majority of the time because if I don't have it it's just simply not going to happen and I hate that I'm that way and of course there's like days where i have like one thing to do and that'll be like it but for the majority of the time if it's not on a to-do list i don't have a lot to do i'm not gonna know where to start and nothing's gonna get done that's just it's just who i am <laughs> look at how gorgeous this wood color is i originally not gonna lie to you was gonna get a black dining table the only reason i wanted a black dining table is because there's like black accents in the kitchen there's gonna be black accents over here black dining chairs instead of getting the matching set for the table i did in fact order the matching bench to this for one of the sides because i really like the bench type of dining table style i feel like it makes a little bit more informal and just like i want to say unique but i feel like when you get a matching dining table with the matching chairs you know it's just kind of like oh you pulled this from the store but mixing and matching like different types of seats and like colors and everything on the thing i think it's really fun the bench comes in a week from west elm they're gonna deliver it then as well um but right now we just have a table and so far the space feels like it's filling up when you first come in up my stairs this is gonna be the first thing you see so this definitely needs to be a nice type of table <laughs> nice type of setup so i think i want to put the bench maybe on this side just because i feel like if you're sitting on a bench you might want to feel a little bit more like loose a little bit more relaxed um, and then this space is the tv so i'm probably gonna put the bench on this side and then chairs along the seats eight people i'm not gonna like it when it's like naked but once i finish like buying the seats and everything 
it'll look like more uniform because right now it's like cool tone browns warm tone brown gray i'm definitely gonna have to pull some like strings to like not pull some strings because it's not hard to like dress up wood at all but i am definitely going to have to you know get some seating to make it match a little better i want to do neutral furniture but pops of color decor if that makes any sense because i feel like when you have a good base of furniture so like blacks white woods gray stuff like that you can really do stuff up with color which is what i want to do so all my basic furniture is probably going to be very basic colors so like the neutrals everything like that and then with like throw pillows paintings plants pots blankets seating arrangements just stuff like that there will be color integrated so it's not going to be so like monochromatic if that makes sense i'm about to go check my mailbox for the last time because i am back here so i'm grabbing everything let me get my parking pass she is no more all right i'm gonna go check my mail no reason to get sappy because babe we got a house ha! we got a house Actually, okay. I told you I was gonna show you pictures. So cute. Okay. Oh my That's god, my I love the glass. Let me see. Okay. Oh, I'm so mad. That's so cute. <laughs> home actually no we're going to audible i lied we're going to audible if we take my car to atlanta which we are it needs to be clean i can't believe it. it's done this era is done you're right you damn right i'm right i can't remember the time i was not damn wrong Hey, thank you. You have a good one. You Did you want any fruit today? Um, yeah, I'll take some. Oh, what do you? Like? Oh, what do y'all have? Yeah, black ice, pina colada, new car, and lemon. I'll do lemon. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, thank y'all so much. Ooh. I've never gotten lemon set in my car. Usually, I'm a black ice girly, but it's spring. Black ice don't give me spring. It gives me man and fall and winter. Maybe black ice is like my fall winter smell in my car and then spring and summer will be lemon. I am back home. Every time I step through that door, I just feel a breath of fresh air. Like it's so nice. So I was coming home and I noticed that I had a package delivered and Bloom actually sent me something. I'm not putting this on the counter, I'm putting it on the chair, but Bloom sent me a package because they actually don't work with me. My one thing was that I wanted to try it first before I like said yes because y'all know I don't promote nothing unless I actually like it and I find it useful in some sort of way. Um, since I'm going to Atlanta, I don't think I could be consistent with this this week, but we are gonna open the package just to see what's in it. Oh, this is a cute little box. Okay, they sent me the famous uh, Bloom Greens and Super Fruits that helps digest and bloating and muting it. It's in the mango flavor. And then they also sent me the mixer. I've seen people use like frothers on TikTok everywhere. I didn't know that this came with what they sent them. I thought they just happened to have them, but I guess not. Oh, and it's green, that's cute. There's something else in here. Oh, it's a battery. Oh, it's a stand. They send you a battery and a stand. That's really cute and actually very, very, very smart. You just put the little frother thing, the electric spinner, you just hang it up here. That's really cute. And just came with one battery. Oh, two batteries. They sent a note. Hey, Leah, we are so excited for you to try out some of our favorite Bloom products. We hope you love them. XOXO, the Bloom team. Super nice. I always really like when brands give handwritten notes versus like typed ones because it feels more personal because it's like, you know who I am. If that makes sense, like somebody had to write my name out. I could tell this is written in pen, but somebody actually had to write my name out, put this in the box, put my address in, put my name on the like label and everything. So it just feels more personal. That's just me being. Oh, and then they sent this tote, Bloom 
athletic club this is cute so it's based in los angeles so yeah that's my little bloom package they sent me i'm actually gonna put this in my office because right now um i said in my last vlog i'm just trying to make my home functional right now i'm not trying to like organize it right now all my pr and like gifted stuff from brands is gonna go in my office because that is where i am going to work um so filming brand deals in there stuff like that you know nothing too crazy so all my pr literally goes straight to my office and speaking of pr i actually need to put in a um address change in my bank and then as well as my shipping with like usps or something like that because i need my packages i was thinking about dinner as i was out as well and i'm kind of in the mood for kuzo's cuisine they have amazing lobster mac and cheese like literally probably some of the best lobster mac and cheese i've ever had sincerely code from somebody who is in fact caribbean it is my favorite lobster mac that I've had here in Charlotte. So I kind of want to get that tonight. I might put in an order for door. That's just something later in the day. And I've just come to the conclusion that I'm going to bring Cashew to my mom's house tomorrow morning um, and drop him off. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I need to start packing. I have no idea what I'm wearing to this concert tomorrow. Not a single thing has been laid out, planned out, nothing. We're going to shoot to aim, shoot to aim. We're going to aim sleep shot around 9, 10. So that means Cash is going to have to get dropped off before then. And then um, we're going to get there really early. So we're probably going to have like a mini explore session, probably go out to eat before the concert. And then Wednesday, it's probably an explore day because my boyfriend has never been to Atlanta. He's coming with me to the SZA concert because I was not going to go to Atlanta alone. I love Atlanta. It's like a bigger version of Charlotte, but it feels like home, but it's sometimes like a little, hmm, you know, so he has a list of food places and things he wants to do while we're there. So probably gonna do that wednesday and then we leave on thursday it cannot be gonna well until i start packing and my clothes are not put away or clean so i'm going to go ahead and start working on some laundry and putting more clothes away from moving because girl i cannot plan outfits unless my options are right there in front of me so i'm gonna put some clothes away um and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll start packing when i get a little bit more when things are a little bit more settled if that makes sense little update on the closet all my shirts are almost up my pants are up my shoes are here my shoes are here just gotta put my hoodies up in the guest room and we'll be done this video is sponsored shout out the girlies yeah remember how i was like oh yeah i want cuddles because i'm fixing my lips for some lobster mac baby they're clothes on mondays i don't know how i forgot because i had this revelation not even a month ago we ended up at zaxby's nothing wrong with the way that a bit of zaxby's eh? i have come to the conclusion that i'm not sure who's who has the best sprite anymore it's a, it's a tie between zaxby's and um mcdonald's, McDonald's. McDonald's I, no is mcdonald's, mcdonald's sprite. sprite is McDonald's very good McDonald's sprite just wakes your ass up so then zaxby's has the best sprite overall yes yeah, 100 percent who was Chick-fil-A Sprite is kind of good too. It is very good. Yep, thank you. I feel to know that you were hard launched on accident. I'm thugging, man. That's my girl. I'm fighting demons over you. People kept demon me and they were like, hey, I don't know if you know this, but and I mean, I appreciate them telling me, but I can't really do anything about it. <laughs> Once the video goes up, I can't. Y'all know I'm graduating in May and I want to have a graduation party because I was unfortunately one of the high school seniors that COVID came that year i was supposed to graduate high school uh 2020 and i did but i didn't get to have like a ceremony or nothing so i'm expecting big blowout from my college graduation because not only am i graduating college but i'm graduating as a who's a person who's never gotten a graduation then i'm also graduating technically two years early half early so a year and a half early ah! it's time Where if we go tomorrow and that audience is quiet for every song except Kill Bill, I'm gonna be mad for her. Oh, it's okay. I'll be loud. Right. Medium Baja Blast Freeze. You have a good one.
Oh my god. Stop! I need to know why you need 500 tabs. Why does it matter? It's me. It's for me. A lot of stuff is duplicates too. You don't you don't think I don't, I don't wanna you don't think 500 tabs on Safari is a little excessive? I got liquor stores in here, shoes. I You're got, not even 21. I got Rick Owens. I got that um <laughs> the, the Keurig that I bought my mom is still open. Why? You already um, did that so you can close it. I got a lot of stuff from work here that I gotta close that I would that I don't I don't wanna close. Why can't why can't I got Sperry's in here? So what why do you want Sperry? I was about to buy some for work. Problem of the hour. Uh, We're about to leave, but side note, my significant other has how many? I Ikea 487. 487 tabs open on his apartment. Target. And he will not let any of them be closed. I just think almost 500 tabs is a little excessive. It's not, and that's your, that, that's to you. That's to you. So you that's your problem. So can't, you leave me alone. Why can't, why can't you just, leave me alone. Why can't you just put the links in your nose? I don't wanna. Why would I do that? Like that, then I'm So gonna, you don't have 500 tabs open on your phone. What is, Lighting in this little Airbnb is so cute. Second of all, we have made it. I'm gonna do a little tour. Okay, hold on, hold on. Front door is there. And then there's like a little desk working area. It's cute. It's a little living room. It's decorated on nice with a little TV that's mounted with the instructions right here ready for you. You come over, it's the kitchen. There's a little balcony that looks out. I thought that was an owl. I'm not gonna hold you. There's instructions for everything everywhere. I mean, the light switches are labeled with instructions on how to use everything. There's a mirror, you come this way. This is the bathroom, nobody cares. This big ass room. Like this is a very long bathroom. We're gonna get all our stuff connected to the Wi-Fi slash get settled because we've been in the car since 11 o'clock this morning. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, seven. We've been driving since like nine something this morning and we're kind of tired. The aquarium is 1.4. But yeah, we're literally like in the middle of downtown. I was trying to explain not to y'all, but to him, that once you're in downtown and off the highway, you're basically good. You're basically safe for the most part. It's just a bunch of light. Almost three accidents within the span of 40 minutes. It's kind of sickening. I need to ask her where she got this from. Isn't that nice? Um, I'm probably gonna get ready a little bit because if my hair acts accordingly, I will try to take pictures at the aquarium. Yeah. Your head hurts now? Yeah. We're hungry. We have an ace of Chick-fil-A this morning. I don't know whose good idea that was, but it's 601, so we're gonna eat. Depending on what time we get out of here, that will determine if we go back to the Airbnb and change. It all starts at eight and we're already downtown. Like the arena's literally around the corner. So depending on how fast they go here, we'll determine. Oh, there's the Ferris wheel. So yeah, we're gonna go to this new place. I've never been. It's called Park Bar. It's in downtown Atlanta. It's not far from the aquarium. We're slutty vegan at. Slutty Vegas is a food truck. Oh, but that's not her. And I was like, I think that's me. <laughs> no, you're good. It's nice to meet you. Well, I hope y'all enjoy. It's nice meeting you. We are somewhere totally different. This is called What Again? We're at Hudson Girl because the other place was too busy. And we couldn't find a seat. And it was a seat your own type of place. So our heads are hurting. And this is not the best combo for a concert. So hopefully this food helps. Oh.
What's your camera look like that? Let me Pop get up in here and see what's going on. <laughs> it's been a year. A year? No, literally. Yes. I went to an aquarium today for the first time. I also been to my first concert today. My first concert happened to be SZA. He did great. I met Lil Baby. Oh yeah, that was, I didn't. I met Lil Baby. I didn't know that she was gonna have anybody Summer come. Walker was there as well. Summer Walker was very fitting to have because they have a song together. But Lil Baby? Lil Baby was just there. It was very good. It was extremely good. The I'm production, really if you went on Tyler the Creator, call me if you get lost, world tour, I would compare the production to that. She had like four outfit changes five or six or seven different sets. She had different transitions from videos. Old songs, new songs. She down here sung her entire discography. Nah, high key though. I know her feet was hurting though, she did that. 10 out of, not even 10 out of 10, I'm gonna give it a 15 out of 10 cause how you have two special guests. That was an extremely good experience. She had technical difficulties. This is a good day. She had technical difficulties and then turned around and didn't have it happen again. And the fact that she brought out two special guests, I know she brought out Phoebe Bridgers out of show, but love you to death, but you're not Lil Baby. You're not, on oh God, you're not. You liked it? I did. I liked out of it. 10. So you get the concert thing now. I do, I do. I guess the early, you said it was a truly beautiful experience, you would yes. do it again? Yes, the music was good. I, the I, light, bro, I, it, I turned it, around it, a couple it, times, I thought you was about to start tearing up, it was so good. That shit was beautiful, no cap. Like, you talking around to people you don't know, you, you, you singing with people you don't even know, like y'all be in the car together every day. Like y'all went to school together for years. Nah, fact. So many people noticed you today, that was, I be looking like a happy dad. <laughs> when that happens because it's like but it's wild because when we first met i didn't even know she did youtube and you may be thinking Aaliyah, how the hell did he not know you have one i don't talk about that stuff in yeah my, my she's, personal she's, life. That, she's 100 not public about it yeah well people all. know but like i'm not loud about it within my circles and personal city. friends and stuff like that fact i don't like that's to talk it. about it because i don't want to make it like oh yeah i can do this yeah but that's not the thing but give yourself your flowers i don't talk about it like openly because it's like i don't think anybody cares but then i'm like people my age don't care and then i come do stuff like this and it's like y'all told me you were like 18 19 20. Me? somebody was going to grad school like it Yo. doesn't ever feel like real people until like stuff you, like that happens. Them. yeah this girl said she would watch me she was 14 or we are 20 now you're about to be 21. that's insane that's almost a day she looked our age yeah we were we looked about the same age that is like that you have a very big impact on a very big impact this girl very told big me she didn't even want a picture with me she just wanted to talk to me did you see that her friend was like do you want to take a picture and she was like no i'm talking to her she was like keep doing what you're doing you are such an amazing person i absolutely adore you bless you man that you made my whole know, day you don't know the amount of people you that touch. made my whole day she for, she she for real isn't she doesn't know how many people she like touches no cap like your voice really matters the i if you met me like earlier into the evening I was not feeling well. So if I seemed like off, which I don't think I did, but if I did, I apologize. I literally had the worst headache because I didn't eat since like nine this morning. And then I was dehydrated as well. So even though I don't think I was acting funny, just in case, like, <laughs> my head was really just like pulsing. Like I literally thought my brain was going to ooze out of my ears. So dramatic. No, literally, I thought I was gonna die. No, I Shut literally up. thought I was gonna die. <laughs> We had him running all over the damn stadium because I was like, oh, I need caffeine. He gave me some soda. I texted my family. I was like, do you know how to get rid of a headache with like no meds? And like, my sister who's about to go to med school, she was like, ask a security guard for the first aid kit and they'll do it. And he literally walked like halfway across the stadium, around the stadium to go get it. And I took it and he was ready to crush it and everything because the were big. Head was hurting tonight. Between the lights and the speakers and feeling the bass in my feet, I probably would have passed out. Or a migraine would have happened.
he went to go into Walgreens to get some safety pins for something with his outfit. Like the shirt isn't sitting how he wants, so we're gonna get some safety pins and fix it. But while he's in there, I will be taking my meds. And when I say meds, I mean Zyrtec and Midol because my period started last night and then there's pollen everywhere. And I'm trying to not be miserable today with cramps and sneezing like I have never stepped outside before. We're gonna take one thing of Zyrtec, one thing of Midol. Feeling like a big girl today because I'm gonna swallow my pills in whole. I'm also switching my bag to my cause tote because I don't want my brown to be like the standout color and to not have anything like match it. Sorry, I'm aiming at you. I'm not a line after that. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Keep it in the car, I guess. Okay. Nice, you blink. Yeah, you got right. Oh, sweet big today. Thoughts? Oop, I think he like it, y'all. Great out of 10. Oh, shit. We're done with brunch. Um, that was your first Atlanta brunch. How do you feel? Um, I'm satisfied. Very satisfied. Uh, give it a 1 out of 10. It was a definite 10. My plate was good. Your food was good. I'm not really a southern gal, no southern country gal, but those grits were good as f I usually don't eat grits, but that was good. You you got creamy grits, right? Yeah. With cheese in it? Yeah. I guess I'm a creamy cheesy grits type of girl. I'd eat them just like that. We're about to go pick up Nikoya and to our friends, and we're gonna go to the world of Coca-Cola together. He wants to go, and I haven't been in years, so I feel like that'd be fun. So we're all been. going together. Probably gonna get food with them, too. We're gonna get to Nikoya's house at like two. We're meeting her dog, and I'm so excited. Coca-Cola factory with a few people. We're yes. doing Nokoya. My name is Sabrina. Oh. oh. I think we're both confused. But and this is. Wait, what are we doing? We're, house we're, we're here we're with. Um, Derek. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eve. That didn't even sound real. We, <laughs> we found these people on the side of the street and they said they need a ride. And now we're at the Coca-Cola factory. Yeah, they gave us a ride and we gave them a little bit of crap. And you know what? Don't believe We're here now. Oh and that's your cousin. That's my cousin. Yeah. That's your cousin? That's my cousin right there. Yeah. Oh my and gosh. She literally got locked up for child porn. This is supposed to be a flower. It's a nasty. That's a flower. Oh my goodness. Oatmeal raisin? Oh what? Yeah, it's a snickerdoodle. It's not a snickerdoodle. It gotta be snickerdoodle. Like, that's crazy. You lie. <laughs> that's you lie. How you gonna you lie. Her? <laughs> This one's a cookie. Yeah. What is it? Ginger. Oh, oh, damn. Was I'm stupid cookie. for that. <laughs> He would go to jail. Fulton was made from black women's scalp, like just cutting off their heads. So you would be the front one. What time did you think that? <laughs> how, far, how far back did you During the slavery. Hi, welcome back, welcome back. We are here again at the Late Night Show with Maxwell Sane, and today we have a very special guest. No, it's Nikoya Thomas. Idol. It literally says American Idol. Uh, well, Idol. I said what it is. Oh, okay. Sorry. Nikoya oh, Thomas, and I'm going to be singing the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, uh, um, yeah. Go, yeah, go yeah, ahead, like, go ahead. Oh, say can you see? And I'm going to stop you right there. Thank you so it. much for tuning in, guys. The, the fair. It's actually very good. It is. Oh my god. Sorry. Oh my god. Ooh. 
Okay. You see? No, I'm scared I'm gonna lose my. Oh, uh, this is like spit water. Why you need that little bit? Ain't need no shot. We all gotta take it at the same time. Yeah, I was at that time. <laughs> I was like, I ain't uh, even gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still in the back of my throat, like it's on the roof You ever had mouth. bad like, banana ice cream <laughs> or like candy? <laughs> she surprised me. It surprised me. Yeah. It's water. No, it's no, not it's what worse that than is. water. That shit nasty. Like lemon or something. It's flavored water. This tastes like um. If you put a little bit of water in high C. I like that. Frozen? Oh. You? Oh. You? Oh. Like the aftertaste. Oh, With the same like hands, they didn't change gloves. Like what does that taste like to you? Doesn't it taste like somebody made the food but didn't wash their hands and started mixing it with their hands? It's kind of weird. <laughs> but it makes sense. It's like, like, a, it's like a faint ass vanilla like it is. Like a spice, right? We're all in the car now. We're trying to figure out where to get seafood boil from. Oh my gosh, I know. she just put cleaned and then there's one on my hold campus. Hold on, let me show this setup of how she films her in the car. This is insane. Where did you get this from? Amazon, I use I it on my that. I use it on my mirrors because it's just a suction cup. It's literally And you can stick it anywhere. Us. Ooh, I look so white here. Her Wait. car is, well. <laughs> Keep her and her melanin alone. During she Women's History Month. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I just drive like this. Now she's trying to crash. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go from with a V in the car, doing a bar, doing a bar. You gonna drink some of this car food. You know when you two flew me out here, they had us staying in Midtown? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I the flex is Midtown. crazy. Where were you? <laughs> you I, knew I was here because I, I saw you house. watching my stories. Can you keep these? Indeed. Hey, roomies. Yeah. You get a there? What? Yeah. You trying to commit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, up there, this gray building? Commit? I want to ruin everybody's day. I do a biscuit and a blueberry muffin. It's crazy. It's just the next day. I didn't say good morning because quite frankly we were getting out of the Airbnb and nobody wanted to talk. Nobody was in the mood to talk. I think we were both just hungry. Went to the buttery. Sorry for the garbage truck in the back. We went to this place called Buttery. My boyfriend actually found it on what Instagram, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I love a bakery breakfast. Let's go try it." So we went. I got an iced vanilla latte with almond milk. I've never had almond milk in my coffee, but I'm excited to try it. He got an iced caramel and vanilla latte with whole milk, and then we got an assortment of pastries, which I think we will be trying. What should I try first? I'm kind of looking at this because it looks better than the biscuit. Not bad. Whoa. Taste this. No. You like it? Yes. Yeah. Can I try yours? You love a sweet drink. Um, this is a cute little strip. Yeah. Hey. You're coming home with but me. Hi, 
video. We're obviously back at the house. We've been back for a while. It's 7.32 now. I didn't vlog much, let alone like anything at all today just because we were on the road for four hours, five hours because I had to drive home during um, rush hour, but we made it back safely. I'd like to say that. It's 7.30. I really should start editing this week's video, which is not this video you're watching, but it's another one. And I also have some brand stuff that I have to do between today and tomorrow because I didn't get to do it before we left. And a brand that took a month to respond to me is rushing me. So, the whole time I haven't even been here. So yeah, I have been at home. We ate nothing crazy. We brought stuff inside. Nothing's been unpacked or nothing. But I think I'm gonna work for the rest of the night. And for the rest of my, I mean like the next like hour and a half, something like that. I just need to edit because this video, my movie vlog number two started off with eight hours of footage. And this video right now roughly has seven and a half hours of footage already and it's only Thursday. But yeah, I'm gonna be working at this island until further notice because as much as I love to sit on a couch, if I sit on a couch and edit, I'm going to fall asleep. I don't care how funny I am, I don't care what who's in the video, I'm going to fall asleep. I love editing, but I love editing when I'm in the mood for it. And right now I'm not in the mood, um, but I need to do it because if I wait, I will complain about something that I had control over. Then I'm gonna be more pissed that I pushed it off when I knew I should have did it. I also have homework. I am still in school. I just didn't go this week. I don't know, the muted yellow, yellow just, yeah. yeah I, <laughs> I like the muted colors more. Yeah. You get more wear out of this one. Oh, for, for sure. sure. Hi. Hi, it's the next day, and today, I'm not gonna say it was an early start to the day, but it was definitely an earlier start than I originally planned. My boyfriend has a friend who knows somebody that works at PacSun. And if you don't know, PacSun sells uh, Essentials Fear of God. And they're having, or they had their yearly, like, sale. Not sale, but they were just, they bring in stuff every March. Like, the new collection every March, so guess what we were up and doing at 10 o'clock this morning? Going to Paxson in North Lake Mall because we both wanted some new Fear of God stuff. I wear Fear of God essentials all the time. I have my sweatpants on right now because they're some of my favorite loungewear brands. Um, loungewear brand. They're my one of my favorite loungewear brands. Like I was saying, um, if it's not Fear of God, it's Skims for me. I'm. <laughs> I'm a simple girl. Okay, essentials and skims, my two faves. Can I help you? I'm gonna say that we didn't go crazy because we did go a little crazy. I'm gonna show you what I got and I'm gonna show you what my boyfriend got because we didn't get stuff that was too similar. They had six colors. And tell me why we left the store with four of the six colors. We, Kesha, I'm sorry, baby. You have to sit in your bed and I'll pick you up in a second. I'll start with my stuff. You guys are here for me. I ended up picking up this. It looks way darker on camera than it actually is, but it's just this green monochrome Essentials Fear God sweatshirt. It has the hoodie, very good quality per usual, and it's like this muted green. I would say muted like sage green almost sweatshirt. I didn't get the matching bottoms to this guy. I didn't even know they had it, but some tells you there's probably still gonna have in the stock for the kids, so I might order at a later time because everything was at retail, and if you know how Fear God gets when it comes to reselling, this was a steal. This hoodie was $100 usually for resale they go to like 200 and higher so i actually got a set i got this muted yellow set this is the perfect spring shade because originally i was gonna get this bright yellow set but then i saw this like muted one and i'm like this is more me i can get more use out of it because i feel like this is also a fall color because it's still like yellow but it's not extremely bright but it's also not extremely dark so i feel like this would be perfect for the spring and fall just because the color is so nice i got sweat shorts instead of um the sweatpants and i kind of want to get the sweatpants too because the shorts are cute but they are a little big it took me like three rolls for them to get to the length that i I bird, but they're still cute and I can see me wearing this in the summertime something like that And then the sweatshirt is exactly the same as the green one I think the spring 23 collection like colorway was actually really cute. They had like plums maroons dark grays They hit the neutral spring wise right on the head, but also like the pop of color pieces right there, too They did good with the colorways this time around because I have a black set and a gray set and a tan beige set. Why did it get so dark? A tan beige set from a previous drop uh, that I got, you know, resale. But no, 
decided to get retail this time for good reason. This is actually the beige slash tan set. I don't really know the name of this colorway. This is the one my boyfriend got. But it's this color. I would say on camera it's pretty accurate to what it looks like in person. It's just like this light tan color. This is really cute for the spring and fall as well because it's a neutral and I feel like it goes with everything. This is just such a cute thing. And then on his joggers it has like the scrunchy things at the bottom. This was the second color. I couldn't put my finger on what color this was because the store lighting was a little weird. But it looks like a dark chocolate charcoal brown. I don't know if that makes any sense. I hope so. Can I show him the other hoodie? Which one? The one I had to get from the mail. Ugh, I had to travel to West Bubba to get a package today. I ended up getting a hoodie and I like it. Okay, the shipping took over a month. For at least over a month, two months. So if you're looking for something quick for a trip in a week, don't buy from here. But if you're willing to wait for the shipping, I don't know if it was just because like we live in West Bubba North Carolina. Brody, this is heavy. I really like it. It's because they have the pharmaceutical med thing on the hood, like Babe has with the shark on it. I don't like the Babe Shark hoodies. I prefer mm -hmm. stuff like this. Um, If there's a Babe Shark on something, it needs to be on the side of the shirt, like the waist. But I don't do like sweat. You didn't ask. Anyway, I thought this was cool. I didn't even see the rest of it. And then it just has the billionaire seal on the front with the number nine on the back. Anyway, this is heavy. I thought I should share because that's another thing that we got. He also got shorts because I thought they were cute. Aren't these cute? They're, and it's crazy because we didn't even get them from Paxson. We got them from, um, I guess, a vintage store. Vintage reseller, yeah. vintage reseller, whatever the hell you want to call that. And they're like nylon, AKA perfect for summer. And it's crazy because they're the same colorway as the set that he got. And I thought it was just perfect and they're cute and I love them. So that's all we did today so far. I literally came in and started eating snacks because we didn't eat breakfast. We literally got up and went straight to the mall. Priorities, of course. I went to Best Buy to look for some monitors. Was not very happy with my options because of the price. So I'm gonna have to keep looking. Um, and then I went to go get that package. And then I came back and I started editing a sponsored TikTok that I have to turn in today. And so far it's going very well. I'm actually very happy with how it's coming out. I don't know. We're doing today he's actually i don't know what i'm doing today he knows what he's doing today i think i'm just working on content stuff and homework because i haven't done for school this week and my stuff starts getting due tonight and tomorrow morning or i mean tomorrow night and sunday of course i need to start pushing that out uh today as well and then yeah i i don't really have anything planned besides my weekly updates call at three today which is like 45 minutes so this content is due at the end of the day today so the sooner i get it done the sooner i can go back to editing my four hour long youtube video which isn't even this one yeah it's gonna be a real computer heavy day i don't know how much i'm gonna film just because stuff like that i feel like is boring and nobody really cares but i don't know i need to start curating my perfect atlanta photo dump so i need to go to the pictures that we took and see if i can curate something from the atlanta trip because what i need to post on instagram at least once a week i've been doing really bad with that so i need to do that too today so i can post it like tomorrow or something so yeah and yeah i think that's everything i had to say because we haven't done much today i ate my leftover mac over mac mac over apparently since cashew's turning three this year uh we have to do a lot better with taking care of his teeth the cool thing is that my mom found these toys for him i don't know where i'll try to ask her but when he bites on them it somehow cleans his teeth and like gets rid of like the smell and stuff this is the one he has right now i wish i kept the thing that it came on but it's like this little chew toy and he chews on it it helps his breath not smell like red lobster and it's actually quite wonderful and since dental care with him is hell right now since he's not three yet depending heavily on chew toys like this that help his dental health and then greenies but yeah that's all i had to say um that was my little update for right now i'm gonna go back to editing my little tiktok for this brand deal because the sooner i get the visuals down the sooner i can do the voiceover which is gonna take a few tries because i never know what i'm gonna say or else i try to speak too fast and then i get too flustered and then i start stuttering and it's just it's too much and i only have 60 seconds to say everything i need to say from what i'm doing in the video and then as well as the talking points for the brand so how this is gonna work no idea Hi. I'm coming to you at 9.30 at night to let you know that I have a half of a chicken quesadilla from Taco Bell, some cinnamon twists, and a frozen Baja Blast in my system. I'm here to give myself a pat on the back because I'm almost done with the rough cut of my last video. Right now, I have about, I'll say like, I have like 42 minutes of footage that I have to still like cut through and two of them are hauls and then the other one is just like unpacking and then the rough cut is done. Ideally, I'd like to kill a, like 
a third of the polished version so like music graphics all that tonight and considering i'm not really tired like i think it's fine i think it's doable and i just want to say good job to me because it's always hard to sift through like eight hours of footage especially when it's kind of like chaotic i made it known that like with my moving vlogs this time around because one it's gonna be a little bit different because i feel like with an apartment it's a lot easier to focus on certain spaces because apartments are only but so big at least for my last apartment it was literally just my room kitchen and bathroom to like focus on and organize but here i have an office i have a guest room i have a whole ass kitchen with like bigger appliances and pantry space and guest bedrooms and like it's just it's a lot more to tackle so i'm spreading it out a little bit more gradually over the next like few weeks months because as much as i would love to finish decorating entire house within like three months of getting it it's nine times out of ten not going to happen <laughs> As much as I would love to furnish this entire home and like every single room has something in it like within two months I just I don't think it's gonna happen like that because instead of just knowing that if I don't like this furniture that I buy for this house I could just toss it because my lease is gonna end. No, I don't have a lease. I have a mortgage So I'm looking for quality pieces and taking my time because I'd rather have good quality pieces and pieces I just know I'm gonna get over and like tired of with them like a year so are you hungry let me feed my dog i should have started doing this thing where like if he's hungry if you watch my last video you know but he started doing this thing where if he's hungry but he'll start like scraping at the bowls like he has no sense i have to defrost some farmer's dog really quick because did i did i take one out for you cashew does in fact still take farmer's dog he currently has the chicken recipe he has two beefs and two chickens um he really likes the turkey but i think I'm gonna go ahead and start defrosting this beef because I don't know. I can't remember if he eats this one as fast as the other. Normally they like ship them very quickly and I normally have extra. I've had these packs for a while. I'm not gonna say like over like six months because it has been six months. I think I got shipped these. These say November. So I was pushing six, but they're frozen. So yeah, he's storing a freezer up to six months. So I'm glad they have the freezer life on here because baby, if it was up to me, I'd be putting food in the freezer. I think that they're good for like eternity. I have a few Amazon packages that I got while I was at the apartment and I never opened them. I got them literally like the day before I moved because I moved on my spring break. Yes, so while everybody was at Miami, having the time, maybe I was putting work in them boxes. I've never had Ninja um knife. I really like the way this looks. Um, if y'all want, I can find the link to this on amazon and link it for y'all my storefront love to ask me where things are from like my amazon storefront is not downstairs but downstairs down below um this is what it looks like with all the knives in it it's very nice for this silicone utensil set that comes with the holder off of amazon because the ones i have now they're not like bad but okay i don't like this straight to the trash i was actually looking at a newer set that's actually by oxo I'm at Target, so I low-key want to return these, question mark, question mark, just because these aren't the best, like, quality based off looks and how, like, kind of, like, flimsy everything is and how small everything is. Like, why is the ladle this small? Not my fave, so disregard this. I want to learn how to crochet because I think crochet, like, clothing pieces are probably the best fashion trend to come from 2022. And quite frankly, I love to support small businesses, but I think this would be a really good hobby for when I get, like, anxious because it'll take my mind off of things, and it's kind of like a long-term hobby. So, like, you know how painting could do in, like, a couple sessions? Depending on the project that I wish to do, maybe this can last a month. I think this will be a really good long-term hobby. So I got this Pierre the Penguin Wobbles Learn How to Crochet Kit for Beginners. And it has all the materials. It has yarn, videos, uh, pre-started pieces, four millimeter crochet hook, the stuffing, the eyes, the yarn needle. Then it comes with the online instructions. And by the time you finish it, it's about four and a half inches tall and three and a half inches wide. And it takes three to eight hours to do. Let me find out I'm bored one day and I'm at like an appointment and I bust out my crochet project. I would gag. Imagine with the DMV and I'm like, oh, y'all taking too long. Knit, 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 like, oh my, it's fun. This is very random, but it is about to be springtime. I have like this, I don't want to say picnic blanket. It was like picnic tarp that I got off Amazon. I mean, it's cute, but I just prefer a picnic blanket. So I got this gray, black, and white uh, knitted picnic blanket that's going to go straight in my car wrap like this. I don't want to undo it right now because it's just going to go in my car. And then the last thing, which I was so excited to get into on my spring break, but spring break is over, so we're just going to have to get into it between classes, I guess. We did, I wanted to learn how to crochet. And I can't remember who said it specifically, but I will insert the response. And they suggested that I get a crochet kit to learn. Best $30 I've spent in a while. 
and I didn't even bust it open yet. Yeah, I just wanna show you what I got off Amazon and I haven't talked to y'all much today, which I apologize for, but the main things that I've just been doing today is editing. Laundry, who wants to see that 10 million times in every single video? Definitely not me. Pretty much it, and snacking and stuff like that. So I thought I'd show you guys what I got on my Amazon a while ago. Started looking through my footage from this video. Not really like going through it and you know, like editing it, but just, really just like looking, reminiscing, because at the end of the day, my YouTube is a time capsule, whether I like it or not. I, not all my videos are public anymore. Um, a lot of them are private because I just prefer people to see me in the more recent years <laughs> compared to like when I was 16, which was like four, about to be five years ago. And I just per prefer to see people of me like more recently than old me because then they're gonna get stuck on old me. It's like, it's a whole thing. But this YouTube channel is a time capsule. I have a lot of memories on here. I have like friends, homecomings, Roms, like so many things on here because I've never been one to take a lot of pictures But if I'm gonna do anything I'm gonna vlog and take a video of something because it, I find it more enjoyable than a picture because you can really capture You can really capture emotions But yeah at the end of the day this is a time capsule like I have a bunch of concerts that I went to on here Just some memories like and I was looking back at it and I was like wow I'm gonna have these literally forever I might not have all the uncut footage But I do have the romanticized version of these memories and I know the backstories of a lot of them and I think that's really fucking cool my first video was literally over four five six years ago i think it's eight if i'm not mistaken and eight years eight years of memories eight years of development it's not on camera but i know the time periods and i think that's it's cool and i just makes me sappy i don't want to say sappy but like Mm. Now, I, there's been eras in my life that I would like to not revisit, but they're there for good reason. I was looking at my footage from this video and I was like, wow, like I'm really proud of how far I've came. A lot of you have been saying how far, like how apparent it has been to see how far I've came as a person since like 2019, um, even as soon as 2020. It does mean a lot that y'all can see like the progression that doesn't even involve around like buying a house just going out and traveling more and finishing school but like me as an individual and as a creative because as somebody who has to look at their stuff 24 7 it's hard to see on a week-to-week -week basis how much i've grown being able to look back at like certain eras and just like knowing where i was and also like making certain videos like it's it's cool like i i have to admit it's very cool i would like to say something from this video specifically that i'm so proud of is nicoya i met one of my very i would say long term like internet mutuals me and nikoi haven't found each other for a year now like i guess you could say like our friend anniversary like when we first started talking is a year this upcoming april and we finally met for the first time and i would just like to say i have been trying to work on meeting new people and making new friends and let me just say that was the smoothest <laughs> experience i've ever had with making a um new friend and it's just probably just because nicole is so nice and sierra maxwell great people if you were to tell 15 year old me that i finally found like people on the internet who i can connect with and it's like you know like it's normal like there's no like pressures or being forced or like outside people going like rah, rah, rah. like it's it's nothing like that i don't know if it's because i got older or it's just because that era of youtube was what that was filled with it's nice like if you were to tell 15, 16, 17 year old me, like, girl, you're gonna find the YouTube friends that you've been longing for. You're, I would be gagging. Like, for so long, I've always wanted people I can, like, relate to on a creative level, especially living in a place like North Carolina. It's a little bit hard, um, just because this isn't the most, like, creative driven city compared to, like, New York, Atlanta, like, California, because those are places that people move to to do stuff like this. So, for me to have met people, like, whether they follow me back or we've talked or we're just mutuals, we just send each other DMs and it's consistent, calm, and cool, like, appreciate it. So, I was scared of TikTokers, boy, it changed my mind. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, probably keep editing, clean up the kitchen, shower, I'll probably talk to y'all a little bit later if I do decide to pick up the camera, but if not, later, tomorrow. I might be getting a mo major motion film. Mind draft submit this Monday. So, two days after I stop editing. You can just cut it up with anything. <laughs> Um, we're about to put this desk chair together because it's here. Cashew, we need to move your setup a little bit. Right. Cashew's thing is right here. My desk is right here. I don't even know if I'm keeping it right here, but file cabinet right here. Like, there's just stuff everywhere. As much as I want my office to be completely done before I use it, baby, I need to get to work. I have things to do, and I'm tired of working at a kitchen island. So, so what's in the jar? Oh, I'm going to show you all something. <laughs> <laughs> Move, move. We just came back from helping babysit my nephew and we decided to stop by Slim Chickens because my boyfriend was like, oh my God, I want to get one of these jars. 
because it's like a little dessert jar. It's a sundae in a jar. And I remember the first time he got this without me, I was pissed because I was like, this looks so good. This is a brownie dessert jar. And they left you, it's a glass, this is a glass jar they just let you keep. Like, this is cute. Like, I'm keeping the jar. Like, it's cute. Give me a little Slim Chickens decor. Let me try it. Hold on. Oh, good bite. Okay. This is kind of cute. I can't tell if this is ice cream or whipped cream. Yo, I got guns from Italy, smoke trees considerably, mid-state and green, it seems as well. My niggas be the ghetto misery, shootouts and liquor stores, a perpendicular angle of the clout war. Police searching up my Lexo, but who's petrol? My tech blow straight off the roof to test no respect, no but don't respect me. It got me handcuffed to rough life, I just be up nights, breathing with scuff nights. Pour my beers, pour my people's under the stairs. These years I got their names in my swears, popping crystal like it's my First child, lick a shot, holiday style. Rock and steel sweaters while it be down. 24 carrots, counting cabbage like the Arabs. The marriage of me and the mic is just like magic. Elegant performance, bubble X for the shirts. Puzzling, killing, shooting, catching cases, concurrent. It's nice, 700 wise, Jim Solomon size. We on the rise, me and G, ghetto wise guys. The Luciano, Frankie, yeah, your bunch of season. Green papers with eagles from a trade that's illegal. Hey, yo, my lifestyle's exquisite. Yeah, yo, like a blizzard. It's quiet, your entire standing on ground with one pivot. Two players run the silk, blazers and diamonds like glaciers. Lands with name brand seats reclining like a spacious. Bodies on that living track, rolling fixed up dice. Gambling grass, handling scams, moves and shites. My bank rolls, got the cops coming in plain clothes. Trying to arraign a game because of a fame that's how the game goes. So right out the slammer with the fame of glamour. Cooking up grams with all my hammers, supplying scramblers in Alabama. Rub out faces. And leave no traces. My aces got mad body cases, preserved spaces at the horse races. Serving us dawn, Viva Clico. Dimes look magnifico. Putting in cut in Saparico. Heat for foes. Shopping sprees with my fleet for clothes. And Caribbean sweets deep. Ripping beats the flow. Hey, yo, we went from standing on blocks. But now some socks, yellow rocks. To picking up stock and both docks with glocks. It got pocket seat fills with million dollar deals. Packing on the blue steel. Keeps your real inside the battlefield. Yeah, so here's a toast to the funds and fans. I just want to take a quick second to let y'all hear the pasta. So let's let's mix. Beyonce, wait a second. Y'all listening good? Yeah, we about to feast. <laughs> we about to feast. Hi, welcome to another episode of Chopped. Um, I am a copyrighted. I, episode of Sliced and Diced. I am contestant number one and the only contestant, so number one, two, and three. And my name is Aaliyah, and today I decided to make spicy, no vodka pasta. Rigatoni noodle base topped with a creamy, flavorful <laughs> base. So a creamy flavorful sauce to top it off with some parmesan cheese today we have our that's what that stuff that looks like is best though this is our judge for the day what's your name again this is our judge for the day what's your name you know my name rate my meal rate my take a bite oh <laughs> there was a lot of sauce on that one what do you mean you don't know like, the sauce is like thick that's the point I'm a, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> I give it a nine. Mm -hmm. It's the paper plate that, that I'm definitely. Maybe it's too many people um, coming to the plastic board. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, but I like the popcorn sandwich and cheese. Mm hmm. The taste, I'm gonna give it seven. Cause okay. like, it's the texture, it's the texture. Okay, but can you say you prefer thinner sauce? Yeah. And the sauce is mad thick. I make that sauce yeah, real it's thick. Like, Cause you use a paste. Yes, that's the point. And heavy whipping cream and cheese. There's like a bag and a half of cheese in that. That's why y'all plumbing bill be through the roof. Cause y'all eat this. <laughs> that's it. Thank you for home for a bit long. Thank you for coming to Slice and Dice. We'll be back from our commercial break. My if hair. you had a sponsor, that would be a good time to put it in. This video is in fact sponsored by Scentbird. So if you haven't seen my first segment, make sure you go look at it because you can use my code Aaliyah55 for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. Thank you Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back into the cooking show. We have our second judge for the day. He's about to be seated. 
dished out and we will see what he thinks of my dinner for tonight. Uh, today I will be reviewing this. Explain to me, what is it? Rigatoni noodle based. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Pasta with creamy, spicy, flavorful sauce on the top. Ah. Mm -hmm. Garnished with Parmesan cheese and fresh parsley. I grew in my garden outside. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. The sauce is thick. I like thick sauce. Pasta's cooked to perfection. I have no complaints. I'm gonna get you. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Oh my goodness, I got a 10 out of 10 against your 7 out of 10. Yeah. You're not coming to this kitchen no more. Yeah.